In an electrifying twist, Nissan has unveiled the Hyperforce, a sports car concept that pushes the boundaries of electric performance with a staggering 1,341 horsepower or 1,000 kilowatt. This high voltage creation embodies the legacy of the iconic GTR in a new electric era. While Nissan refrains from explicitly stating that the Hyperforce is the next evolution of the GTR, the unmistakable DNA of this legendary nameplate is woven into every pixelated, illuminated badge and fiber of this concept. I mean, when you look at it, it's pretty obvious that this thing takes quite a lot of inspiration from the GTRs of the past, just with a super futuristic twist. Now, this formidable machine showcases Nissan's cutting-edge E-Force all-wheel control technology, lightweight construction, and utilizes a solid-state battery, marking a milestone in the world of electrified performance. The Hyperforce is the grand finale in a series of groundbreaking concept cars from Nissan, and it stands as a shining star among them. The automaker makes it clear that this concept is designed to appeal to both racing enthusiasts and gamers. While specific technical details are somewhat scarce, certain key attributes are evident. The Hyperforce boasts an optimal weight balance and is constructed from lightweight carbon materials, which includes a set of carbon fiber wheels. It also offers a dual mode system, allowing drivers to choose between GT or Grand Touring and R for racing. I see what you did there, Nissan. Anyways, Nissan's president and CEO, Makoto Yoshida, expresses the visionary spirit behind these concepts, stating, All five concept cars showcased today are symbols of the future and embody our founding spirit of daring to do what others don't. We have advanced our EV innovations moving beyond mobility to create a more sustainable world. The EVs symbolize our future of creating a cleaner, safer and more inclusive world for everybody without compromising on passions and dreams. Through the power of innovation, Nissan is creating a future where everyone can enjoy the excitement of mobility. The Hyperforce is not just a manifestation of cutting-edge technology, but also a preview of futuristic features that distinguish it from other concept cars. Active aero elements, including canards, a front lip, a rear spoiler, and fender vents add not only to its aerodynamic efficiency, but also to its visual drama. Nissan's claim of a newly developed plasma actuator suggests a sophisticated approach to managing airflow, specifically to minimize inner wheel lift during cornering. The cabin of the Hyperforce is equally captivating. An adaptive infotainment display appears as if it's been extracted from a video game. In a sense, it has. It was developed in collaboration with Polyphony Digital, the creators of the renowned Gran Turismo gaming franchise. In our mode, the cabin baths in red ambient light and the dash panels extend toward the driver, delivering crucial racing data. Switch it to GT mode and the cabin transforms with most of the colorful displays fading into the background, the atmosphere turns blue and a simplified set of controls take over. Yet the driver retains full control over climate settings, audio, suspension and stabilizer adjustments. But the gamification doesn't end there. While parked, drivers can engage in virtual racing experiences using a special helmet complete with an actual steering wheel and pedals. Nissan elevates the experience further by employing skeleton visors and augmented reality to project digital ghost cars onto simulated circuits, enabling drivers to compete against these virtual foes. This sounds so cool. As someone that enjoys sim racing, this would be awesome. Look, I will say my sim rig is um, quite a lot cheaper and I don't think that your average gaming enthusiast will have the cash to buy a car to use as a sim racing rig, but it's still a cool feature. Now the Nissan Hyperforce raises the tantalizing question, is this a glimpse into the future of the GTR? While Nissan doesn't make any direct claims, several clues hint at the possibility. The unmistakable taillights have long been a signature feature of the GTR lineage. The pixelated badge on the front grille also carries a familiar air, and the company acknowledges that the design pays homage to Nissan's high-performance legacy. Although it's not an official declaration, it certainly kindles excitement for the prospect of the next-generation GTR boasting over a thousand horsepower as its starting point. The Hyperforce serves as a powerful symbol of electric performance, blending the iconic GTR heritage with the advancements of the electric age. But what do you think? Now, lithium batteries are crap. 
but this thing is said to feature a solid state battery, which is a hell of a lot better. But even with that, do you think that a 1000 kilowatt electric motor can replace the drama and sound of a good old twin turbocharged internal combustion engine? Let me know down below. I think all of you that watch my channel often know exactly how I feel. I like the idea of having a 1300 horsepower car, but you just can't replace the character and sound and feel of a true explosion powered motor. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like with some other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?